WebAssembly is a portable binary format for programs. At Mozilla, we've been working to ensure that the debugging story for WebAssembly, especially outside of the browser, is the same as with any other binary, using familiar tools like GDB and LLDB. As an example, I have a small program in Rust that prints FizzBuzz for the numbers 1 through 20. I can compile that program to WebAssembly and run it in WASM time, Mozilla's standalone WebAssembly runtime. So that works, but how do I debug it? For years, it's been impossible to do source-level debugging of a WebAssembly binary. But now, thanks to a proposal by Mozilla, I can just invoke WASM time with LLDB. I do have to add the G flag to tell WASM time to generate debug information. But at this point, I can do anything I would normally do with LLDB. For example, setting a breakpoint at the function named fizzbuzz. I can then continue execution, and you can see that each time I hit this breakpoint, fizzbuzz gets called with its argument i incremented by 1, just like you would expect. I can step through and view the variables, so 4 is not divisible by 3 or by 5, so both of those are false. But because this is a debugger, I can modify those variables at runtime and see how this program would behave in a different scenario. For example, I can lie and say that 4 is divisible by 3, and see that that did update the value. Now, when I continue, you can see this prints fizz instead of the number 4. I can also view a backtrace to see how I got here, and I can navigate up and down those stack frames. So I can see that fizzbuzz was called from this loop in the main function. I can even use LLDB's built-in GUI to visualize execution and watch variables as they get set. Lastly, I can set conditional breakpoints. So let's disable our old breakpoint and set up a new one to break on line 14, but only if i is divisible by 3 and by 5. Now when I continue, I can see that execution continued until i was set to 15, and if I continue from there, the program finishes without hitting the breakpoint again. If you intend to deploy WebAssembly outside of the browser, it's absolutely crucial that you're able to debug those programs in the same execution environment in which you'll be running them. And that's exactly what you just saw. A completely normal LLDB debugging session, but for a WebAssembly binary running inside the WasmTime runtime. To learn more about WasmTime, visit wasmtime.dev. I hope you'll try it out and let us know how it works for you.